Hello, my historical fashion friends. It is I, a Roman traveler, and I am going to show you today how I become this egghead. Uh, this is a Pileus hat, and it is a hat which was from basically like ancient Greece up through Rome. Oh, good. The helicopter is right here. Okay. Uh, this is a hat which is from uh, ancient Greece uh, all the way up through, the, there's even some descendants of it now. Uh, maybe you can call this like the first beanie cap. I can see how this easily becomes like a beanie. Anyway, stay tuned for my trials and tribulations of uh, becoming this here Roman traveler. Oh yeah, and don't forget to like and subscribe if you want to see more content like this uh, incredible hat, which I'm making. I'm making like a whole Roman Brittany, Roman, not Brittany, Roman Britain-esque uh, male outfit, which was requested by somebody. And I think I'll be making some shoes as well coming up with a lot of fun projects. Uh, but it's for a little scene which I'm filming with, uh, my friend, who is also an actor. Uh, so I can't wait to also share that with you all. I see. You're going to do this then, huh? Oh, an added challenge. Yes, yes, I see. While he attacks. Ow! While he. Mm hmm. Getting them. Made it to you. Now I measured per this, and it said to do the circumference of your head plus six, so. I'm going to do that. I can't find my Taylor's chalk, so I am using chalk pastels, like for uh, drawing. Just trying to uh, match the arc on what I'm looking at there. I guess I should do it folded, shouldn't I? I should do it folded. Half of 31 is... No idea. 16. Uh, 15 and a half. Half of 31. So then we have from 1 to 14, 14, and so 15 is going to be the top, and that will... I mean, does that really match what I'm looking at there? Looks like it goes up more steeply, doesn't it? That looks about right. And then, oh, I should draw the stitching line. It says to draw it like. be folding it up inside of the brim. Okay. 
And the instructions say to use a felted wool so that the hat uh, stands up correctly. So I found like my absolute thickest wool that I have. This looks like it's going to be like super big, but it said to add six inches, so I don't know. Maybe when I fold it up, that's why. Now I'm just going to sew along my sewing lines and then fold the brim over towards the inside and stitch up the brim as well. From the outside it will look like it has no brim, but from the inside uh, it will be sewn down in order to uh, create a little bit of a stronger area around where it will meet the head. And I will be using a back stitch. Because this is a felted wool, I won't have to worry about the uh, inside fraying as much. Now that I'm reaching the end of the seam going up the middle back of the hat, I will fold over the brim towards the inside and stitch it down with a herringbone stitch. try to get an even brim all the way around. That's a bit too big. This turned out way too big. Uh, definitely gonna trim some of this off. Um, the brim is also a little big on me, but I'm not sure the actor who is going to wear it might have a bigger head than me, so I might see on the day. Definitely gonna probably take this thing way down though. So, uh, yeah, if you hear a bunch of noise in the background, that's, uh, construction. Can't be helped. Uh, I didn't like the way my first Hylias turned out, which was kind of like my mock-up, so I am going to make another one, and also, you know, I've just decided that <laughs> wool makes me too itchy, and I just need to line everything with linen because I hate being itchy and I am going to make this second Pileus from a, a white, well I guess like eggshell colored wool because um, anyway from my reading it appeared that that was more historically accurate. Um, apparently this hat was like given to Roman slaves slash servants upon their freedom, a la Dobby and the Sock. Master has presented Dobby with clothes. Dobby is free. Everything from Harry Potter is like derivative of something else. Um, so I am going to make one from my eggshell colored wool and line it with this white linen and I tried to um, kind of fold the wool a little bit because it was a loose weave. Um, it kind of worked like medium successfully, uh, but I think it's going to be stiff enough with this linen inside anyway. And I am going to make it less tall because it was way too tall and it didn't look anything like the pictures. So yeah. I want it to look like the pictures. Okay, so from our pattern, I'm going to make it like four inches less tall. And also it was too wide. So it's not gonna be plus six because that was too much. And here's my wool. So we're gonna make that number less. You're all right. Well, <clears throat> come on out then.
You married. You beast. What are you doing? Yay! Yeah. What are you doing? Vicious. Look, I already have your dinner. Look. Let's see. Why are you always scared of your dinner? It's your dinner. 15. Absolutely not going to be 15. Because that was bad. In fact, I'm going to make it like 10. 10 will be good. Ten. This is my disappearing, keeps disappearing pen. I'm gonna make this like 26. Half of 26, 18. I guess I should make it even by folding it in half. made it look really odd last time. Maybe. <clears throat> the stitching line is going to be that. And then the actual circumference of my head. I'm gonna end it here. Maybe because it's not going up enough. Because if it was here, to go like up quickly. Right. I don't know, you yeah. See, there's no, there's no indication of like how much higher this is than that. So I feel like I just have to keep drawing it until it looks like the picture. Mm, I think this one looks the most close. We're gonna cut it out. We're gonna see. Whatever my scissors are. Where'd y'all go? Okay, so I have decided to um, do the edge this way by just folding both of these in because I don't want to fold the wool over because I will kind of defeat the point of lining it in linen because uh, I'll still be itchy. So, whoops. I've just folded both sides in and I am just going to stitch them down and I uh, lined up the little seam here. Look who's coming out! Fancy! What's that? Get him! Okay, so to secure the edges of this hat together, I am just doing this simple stitch going back and forth uh, all the way around. And then we 
Should be pretty much done. I might just secure the, uh, basically like these seam allowances to each other afterwards, but it's gonna be ready to wear very soon. And uh, the article I was reading talked about how these hats were meant to remind one of an egg. So hopefully I will be revealing to you my very egg-like head in just a moment. Okay, this looks... Oh. I'm watching Nicole Rudolph. This looks a lot more like the picture. I did an adjustment where I kind of sewed the front a little bit too. Uh, and that looks way more like the pictures I've seen. Do I look like an egg? Egg head. Oh, yeah. Uh, I loaded up my old <laughs> college computer so I can play The Sims Medieval. Uh, thinking about Twitch streaming it. I don't know, let me know if, if you would all want to watch me play, like, The Sims Medieval and Medieval Dynasty, uh, on, like, Twitch, if you watch Twitch. Uh, yeah. Egghead. So, uh, yeah, this is it for my Pileus cap. Um, I'll probably just like, do a little video of me in, like, the full outfit, even though it's gonna be probably worn mostly by someone else until after the shoot. Yeah. And look who's here! A little beast! Thank you all for watching this video. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments below and I will see you next time.